What's up guys, Ricardo Amadolia here and we are less than a week and a half away from one of the greatest super fights of all time. Of course I'm talking about Andre Galvão versus Felipe Pena at the 2019 ADCC World Championship live from Anaheim, California. Wanted to take some time now to kind of break down, uh, give a little bit of an, an overview and analysis of this matchup, looking back at the previous matches and also taking some different uh, analysis and, and kind of looking at their styles and trying to break down who we think could possibly win this match. Now, the two have faced off four times before. The first time they fought was at the IBGGF Pan American Championships back in 2014. Andre Galvao won by points four to two. The second time they fought was at the IBJJF World Championship the same year with Felipe Pena winning a back and forth matchup 6-4. Match number three took place at the Abu Dhabi World Pro back in 2016 with Felipe Pena winning again 4-0. Match number four took place at the IBJJF World Championships in 2017 with Andre Galvao winning 2-0. So what, are, what can we see there? We have four matches, 2-2. Two and two. All four matches were with the Gi. We have three of the matches with 10 minute time links in IBJJF and one with six minutes in UAE JGF rules. Uh, we said all four matches were with the Gi. None were won by submission. So we're gonna have to rule out submissions as far as uh, you know something that we expect to see in the upcoming match. What has been the tale of, of how those matches were won were with two deciding factors, takedowns and sweeps. But well, we're gonna get to that in a sec. Now, when I look at this matchup stylistically, um, you know, I want to try to break down five things that I think are going to be the deciding factors in this match. Those five things are going to be number one, the ADCC experience, number two, activity, number three, takedowns, number four, sweeps, and number five, uh, kind of evaluating the match head to head. All right, when we look at number one, ADCC experience, we have to give it to Andre Galvao. He's been competing in ADCC since 2007. First event in New Jersey, I was there live. Saw him compete in his division and the Open, having successful performances in both. And you know, he's been competing from 2007, never missed an event all the way till, uh, you know, next weekend essentially. And you know, he's had some ups and downs. He's had so many different matches. He's had some wins, he's had some losses. He's seen it all. He understands the rules more than anyone. So when we look at the experience wise, he has an edge. Uh, Felipe Pena has only been competing since 2015 in ADCC style matches. So we're gonna have to give the edge to ADCC experience to Andre Galvão. Now, when we talk about activity, Pena definitely has an advantage here. Uh, Andre's last event that he's competed in was at the 2018 Abu Dhabi World Pro. Felipe Pena, on the other hand, has been active for the last few years, competing at least a few times a year. Andre actually retired on the, uh, on the wake of that event and said that the ADCC super fight against Pena would be his last fight. So he's had a little bit of time off. Pena has been active during that time. So when we look at activity, Pena gets the edge. Now, like I mentioned before, the two deciding factors where Pena and Galvan have scored against each other have been takedowns and sweeps. Um, when we look at it head to head, I don't have the knowledge, I don't have the information, sorry, from the first match, so I can't give an accurate reading. But when I look at how those matches sort of played out, and also I evaluate the performances they had at ADCC, um, it, I kind of get a really good idea. And, you know, let's take a look at takedowns being number three. And with the takedowns, um, the, the two are very even, you know, I think uh, Andre and, and Pena took each other down very evenly. I could see, I, I watched the last three matches that they had, I just reviewed them, and I could see takedowns being very easy, uh, even. But when I look at takedowns in ADCC, I feel as though Andre Galvao has the edge. His wrestling is on point, and um, you know, it's just been really, really hard to kind of stop Andre's takedowns. Now, when I look at sweeps, uh, again, very, very tight, very neck and neck, but I think that Pena gets the advantage here. One of, one of the things that Pena does really cool was using a counter sweep to Galvao's takedown in one of their matches. So I think if he's able to use that similar strategy, uh, you know, kind of 
recovering from the takedown, trying to rally back and sweep Galvao, he could actually score in that. So when I look at sweeps versus takedowns, I think sweeps, the edge goes to Pena. And when I talk about sweeps, I'm not just talking about a, a guard sweep. I'm also talking about, you know, getting to the back. He's really good at getting to the back. So I kind of include back takes and sweeps in the same era. And Pena's got those long legs. He's a counterattack specialist. I think Pena gets the edge in that. Now, when we look at the two head-to-head, -head, of course, we mentioned earlier, they're two and two. So it's really hard to make a prediction on this because, you know, the experience goes to Galvao, activity goes to Pena, takedowns goes to Galvao, and sweeps goes to Pena. Head-to-head, -head, they're two and two. You know, it's, it's one thing if the, they competed four times and Andre won three times and Pena won once. No, they went two and two, although they were in the key, it still makes it very, very even and does make it very hard to predict and, and really kind of break down this thing properly. So unfortunately, I, I, it ends up being a draw. If you look at the stats compared, uh, if you look at the stats based on what I'm evaluating, they're really evenly matched. And I think that that's what makes this super fight so compelling. Both Andre and Pena are very complete grapplers in that they can take people down, they can sweep, they can do back takes, and they have submissions. Although none of the matches have ended in submission against each other, I think the fact that this is a no-gi match could change things. We know that Galvao has had some submissions with leg locks. We know that Pena recently got submitted by Tex Johnson by a leg lock, so you never know what could happen there. But, but at the same time, we know that Pena has used the leg lock entry to, uh, to score a back take. We saw that against Gordon Ryan twice. So it's really, really hard to break down. Like I said, there's really been no distinct uh, numbers advantage by one grappler or the other. And it's so neck and neck. I think the only way we're gonna have to find out or really you know, discover who's gonna win this match is by watching it all go down live on September 29th, live on flowgrappling.com, or if you can go to the NIM Convention Center, tickets are flying, so please get one soon. And that's gonna be the only way we can figure out who's gonna win this. It's just too close to decide. Guys, if you have a prediction or if you have an analysis or something that you feel that I left out here, please uh, add a comment on the bottom here. Let me know what you guys think, who you think could win, uh, Galvan or Pena. I'm, I'm really undecided. I mean, my heart's with Andre. He's a teammate of mine, but I mean, Pena is just such a master counterattack specialist. I really don't know who's going to win. Only way we're going to find out is by watching it live September 28th, 29th on flowgrappling.com or at the Anaheim Convention Center. I'll see you guys there.